welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am an infant Ismail. The news headlines. President Nobu the South Ministries, Rishavu Cabinet. Federal government plan sanctions against the 14 states of local government autonomy. Rebs decry likely laws of $400 million to underutilized orbital spaces. Governor Abdul Razak turning Kwara to model states. Lawal says. Skills acquisition, infusion in basic schools must be well funded. Engineer Abdul Qadri charged for the government as 82 Unilorin graduates inducted to NIMEC. Nigeria loses over $500 million to cybercrime annually. Infrastructure deficit in Abuja widespread, Abbas says. And on sports, flying eagles rally for crucial Abro Coast clash. Now the news in details. Now the news in details. As part of efforts to reduce cost and improve efficiency, President Bola Tinobu has approved the scrapping of the Ministry of Sport and Ministry of Niger Delta. Also, the Ministry of Tourism will be merged with the Ministry of Culture and Creative Economy. Those decisions were taken today at the meeting of the Federal Executive Council in Abuja. Also, a new Ministry of Regional Development will be created to oversee the activities of the newly created Zonal Development Commissions, while the National Sports Commission will take over the activities of the Ministry of Sport. The federal government has said it will examine laws on the conduct of local government polls, as well as scrutinize while some state government have delayed the conduct of their local government elections. As the General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi San, who disclosed this in AKT on Tuesday, said there was no going back on the federal government's plan to implement the Supreme Court ruling on local government autonomy. The House of Representatives yesterday alerted Nigerians to the possibility of the country losing two orbital spaces to underutilization and risking the loss of $400 million as a result. It's urged the federal government to prioritize the protection of Nigeria's orbital slots and investment in satellite technology to ensure full utilization of allocated orbital slots before the deadline on December 6. The chairman of a leading pro-democracy group, Alliance for Sustainable Quara, Alaji Abdurazak Lawal, has held the Quara State Governor, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, for gradually turning the state into a model. Lawa noted that the governor has not only turned Ilorin, the state capital, into a model city, but also initiated applausive moves to make every part of the state worthy of habitation through the ongoing massive infrastructural project across communities in all the three centuria districts. He made reference to the recent flag off of the construction, rehabilitation, and upgrade of rural roads, totaling 209.77 kilometers across the three senatorial districts. Lawal, in a statement released at the end of the monthly meeting of ASK on Tuesday, signed by the Association Secretary, Alaji Abdullahi Olesin, and obtained by Just Event Online TV, thanked the Sadauna of Ilari 
for his interest in the development of every part of the state. 82 fresh graduates from the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Illinois, were inducted on Wednesday as members of the Nigerian Institution of Mechanical Engineers. The induction ceremony, organized by NIMEC Illinois branch, featured public lecture themed Skills Shape the Future of Work. The guest speaker, engineer Dr. L.B. Abdul Qadri, director of Skills Development Center at Squire State Polytechnic, emphasized the necessity for students and graduates to develop skill culture. He urged the graduate to utilize the National Youth Service Corps period to gain additional skills, while stressing that the government's infusion of skill acquisition into the curriculum for basic student must be well funded and sp supported by strong political will. Where the title of lecture is Skill Shapes the Future of Work. The essence is to intimate our graduates, those who are graduated from mechanical engineering who are just being inducted into the profession to know the importance of having skill as an opportunity that's going to open a lot of employability opportunity for them. Because we discovered that most of our graduates don't have the required skills that the industries are looking for. And that has caused a lot of problems for Nigeria. So when we have a lot of industries that are existed that are springing up, but they don't have the place for our graduates because of the reason that they do have, have the requisite that they, they need. So it's now a national problem and the government is taking it seriously. We want all the discussion to imbibe that skill culture to our students. It is not that the skill culture is not in the program before. The students are not exploring it to the extent that they are supposed to explore it. Chairman of NIMEC, Lauren Branch, Engineer M.M. Babalola, encouraged the inductees to be good ambassadors of both the University of Illinois and the professional body. The national chairman of NIMEC, engineer Alazan Abdu Mohammed, represented by engineer Dr. Sulaiman Abimbola Yaya, congratulated the graduate and advised them to contribute to solving the nation's challenges as mechanical engineers. On behalf of the inductees, Abidoye David expressed gratitude to the leadership of NIMEC in Lauren Chapter for their support, promising that the new members would uphold the values of the institution and their profession. Well, basically, this is the entity. Just stay true to who you are. And I learned a lot from my parents, from my upbringing, because they will always say, David, just stay true to your parents. And don't let anything derail your parents. Just stay focused, keep good company, and, you know, make good friends. Because I can see most of the awards, yeah, I got them from interrelationship with my friends and, you know, my peers. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ola Ulukoyedi has decried the rise in cyber crimes globally. According to him, the amount lost globally to cyber crimes could reach $10.5 trillion, adding that his research showed 2,328 cases are recorded daily. The Speaker of House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, has said Nigeria needs to invest about 
three trillion dollar over the next 30 years to bridge the infrastructure gap. ABA has listed the critical sectors of investment to include road networks, power supply, housing, healthcare, education, among others. He lamented that in Abuja, the infrastructure deficit became glaring as the city's population continued to grow at an annual rate of 5%. The last on the news is sport. The Nigerian Flying Eagles are determined to secure a win against Ivory Coast in their second Group A match of the 2024 Wafu Zone B Under 20 Championship at the Municipal Stadium Lome on Thursday. The team's media officer, Sharif Abdullahi, said the players are resolved to approach the game all guns blazing to achieve the desired result. In a meeting at the instance of the skipper, Daniel Bamei, on Monday. And that will be all on just events online news at 9. Here's a recap of the story. President Nobu the South Ministries, Reshovu Cabinet. Fair government plan section against the 14 states of local government autonomy. Rives the cry likely loss of $400 million to underutilized orbital spaces. Governor Abdul Raza turning Quora to model state. Lawa says, Skills acquisition infusion in basic schools must be well funded. Engineer Abdul Qadri charged for government as 82 unilateral graduates inducted to NIMEC. Nigeria loses over $500 million to cybercrime annually. Infrastructure deficit in Abuja widespread, Aba says. Flying Eagles rally for crucial Abro Coast clash. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. Remember, being peaceful doesn't mean you are weak or not competent. Rather, it shows that you are responsible. For more news, Visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tap at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on justeventonline at gmail.com. I am an infant, Ismail. Good night.